I am very tired. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I have overcompensated with my makeup. I do have a mocha to try and liven me up a little bit. Let's roll that intro. Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. So we are on Lucifer season three, episode 15. Let's get straight into it guys. Here we go. Lucifer, I'm here. Lucifer? Makes me nervous when she's in a fl when he's when she's in his apartment and he doesn't answer. Detective, <gasps> there's been a change of plan. I'm not going. What the hell? Well, we have a case. Something's happened. Please leave. Is this a dream? What's happened? Are you okay? Well, I mean, it's not the sort of dream I'm used to. Not one that I enjoyed either, Lucy, Something let me tell you. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what it means, Lucifer. That I need sturdier guardrails? Or maybe there's some symbolism in there. You mean my wings, don't you? Yes, well, clearly you have issues. Well, you would too if your father slapped a pair <laughs> on your back, took away your devil face, took away who you are. I mean, who knows what else you'll take from me? Lux? Why would he take the face? I don't understand that. Yeah, well, not sure I know how to remove an immortal's curse. <laughs> no, I need you to remove my mental block. Hypnotize me or something. <laughs> I hear it works with smoking. She's not a bloody hypnotist. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not how it works, Lucifer. There's no easy fix for a lack of ideas. Thank you, Doctor, for being completely unhelpful today. <laughs> You know, the way he treats her, not a fan. She looks fire in that colour. Hi, my dear. Look how happy that instantly made her then. That's cute. You better not be cancelling on me again. I know, I'm so sorry. It's just, I have so much work to do. Can't you play hooky? Not if I want to be a responsible adult. Right. But... What if you weren't <laughs> a responsible adult? I'm for it. Come yes, on, Chloe. Let your hair down. Come on. Chloe, I mean, don't you ever miss just having stupid fun like when you were a kid? I was a pretty grown-up kid, actually. I could imagine that. Well, never too late to start. I know. I'm sorry, babe. I can't. It's cute that she calls her babe. Decker. One of these days, you're gonna realize what you've been missing. Our victim's name is Kathleen Pike, 33. She's the author of a best-selling futuristic YA series called Last 3001. She was found with her head bashed in by her own vintage typewriter. The irony is a little on the nose, or on the head, should I say? What's that white stuff? I know what you guys are thinking. She's a synthetic. <laughs> the aliens, the androids, no. the white. <laughs> No one? Really? She finally finished the new book. You may place Look at that for you. Do you usually pick How up the, the other half pieces? live? With Kathleen, yes. There's only ever one hard copy since she does all her writing on that typewriter. Yes, and all her dying on that typewriter as well, it seems. Do you know anyone who would have done this to her? Any known enemies? No, Kathleen was extremely well-liked. She had millions of devoted fans. Oh, I know how fans can get obsessed with their idols. Yes, and with their boobs. Like after you did Hot Top High School Detective. Oh, uh-huh. You don't think this would be my <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. Why? I was so excited that she was finished that I tweeted the news to her fans. I really talked the book up, hinting at this huge action-packed robot rebellion ending she teased me with. Well, as long as you didn't tweet her address as well. No, of course not, but someone could find that. Someone who wanted to read the book first. Yes, and someone who wanted to tell her that robot rebellions can be more dull and derivative. What is with all this yes and stuff? That is some improv thing I was hoping would knock me out of my idea dry spell. But you're literally just saying what you would normally say with the words yes and in front of it. Yes, and... It's clearly not working, this stupid thing. <laughs> I did a dry spell, just like Kathleen. What do you mean? She had the worst case of writer's block I've ever seen. It took her five years to figure out how to end this series. Well, never mind that. How does she cure her block? I don't know. She said I would understand after I read it. 
said she even explained how she broke through it in the books afterwards. You mean we need to find the killer? Exactly. So they can hand over that book. There goes his tunnel vision again. Find the book. Cure his mental block. I mean, I mean the killer. We gotta find the killer. <laughs> I wanna tell her, I just don't know how. I admit, I'm afraid. Well, you should be. Maze. I'd be scared of Maze as well. well. I feel so guilty. At, I've been avoiding your calls. Are we being cowards? Yes. <laughs> Linda, it's Maze. Maze. <laughs> I can check on her if that'll make you feel better. Really? Just to make sure she's okay. Of course. I would do anything for you. Oh my gosh, this well, guy. Is that too sappy? An actual angel. In all senses of the word. <laughs> I want me and him in a deal. Was your high school experience this pathetically PG? I didn't have much of a high school experience. Oh, they'd hook you up, did you? Suddenly I like you more. No, child actors don't have much time for regular school. You're either auditioning or on set, so it's mostly tutors. Hmm. Maybe I did miss out on a lot. Well, you turned out pretty well, if you ask me, Chloe Decker. Why don't you want to see him? I'm mean, going to he was nice. Nice? <clears throat> if he were nice, he wouldn't be sneaking around behind my back with my friend and lying about it. Mom <laughs> says that sometimes people are just scared to tell the truth. Your mommy is very clever. That's not a bad idea. Helping people tell the truth is kind of my thing. She's going to torture them. Hmm. We know about your online fight with Kathleen. Things got very heated. It must have hurt to have her insult you like that in front of everybody. I never should have said those things. So I sent her some of my writing, you know, like in Olive Branch. Hold on. You're a writer. Yeah, man. I've written like tons of class of 3001 fan fiction. Is a fanfic writer? Who'd have Kathleen thunk it? Liked my writing. She told me she realized she needed to be more authentic. You know, get back to her original inspiration. Characters in Kathleen's books are based on real people. And all of her stories were taken from okay. real life in West Side High, right here in LA. Max, Jessica, Isabel. She didn't even change any of the first names. Did she have any original ideas at all? Well, she changed the last names. And she did have to come up with all that futuristic stuff. Creative. Science. I mean, trust me, that is not easy. I'm actually writing my own book about a forensic scientist who talks to ghosts. You are? Tell me, what do you do when you run out a of A forensic ideas? scientist oh, that talks ready. to I'm ghosts? I want to be in on that. The problem is how to choose. Well, I need to rub it in. So this guy <laughs> exposed all these people's dirty laundry? Sounds like motive to me. Lucifer, you could go as Todd. Yeah, no, no, seriously, look, it looks just like you. It was all that masturbation finally caught up with your eyesight, Daniel. <laughs> no one will believe that, even if I tell them I've had a face and body transplant. Yeah, but maybe our only shot. I mean, I could go as your plus one. Oh, poops, hold up. Todd RCPDS. <sighs> Charlotte, is there any legal way to prevent him from attending? Well, it's definitely not legal to distract Todd with, say, a bounty hunter. If anyone needs me, I'm gonna be in my office, not hearing the plan. <laughs> right. 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 She's right. suggesting you, Maze. Suspects. Enjoy. Definitely no boyfriend. Really? Yep. So single. So. So single. Oh, in that case, I should totally set you up. I am just. The okay. Oh, that is so thoughtful of you, Maze. But you really don't have to. Do Please, that. when I want to. What are best friends for? You've got to rip that bandaid off, my dude. And just tell her what's going on. How cute is that cardigan, though? Mom? Baby, what are you doing up? Get back in bed. Bed? It's morning. I'm gonna miss the bus. What? I've, I've, uh, I've been up all night. Come on. Come on. <laughs> With a bottle of wine? Go, 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 go. Should you really be driving? I dodged my high school reunion like nobody's oh. business. <laughs> you know, high school reunions are very popular torture in hell. I was super busy. I, you know, you didn't even try. With Netflix. <laughs> the prom king and the sex pot. Oh, Lucifer, don't judge. There's so much more to these people than their stereotypes suggest. 
She is fangirling right now. Yeah. yeah, the books are much deeper than you'd imagine. The characters are so compelling and relatable and rich, and I mean, they're all here. And one of them is most likely a killer. Right. 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 <laughs> okay, Thanks I'm for reminding her about that. We yeah. Really meet the um, so we can question the suspects. <laughs> Look how excited she is. What's happening? I'll just go. Have a drink at the bar. Sure thing. Linda. And then I do. What are you doing here? M M Maze invited me. I thought you wanted to talk after I stopped by. Uh... Maze is setting me up on a blind date. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Unless she knows about us and is trying to make a square of it. And torture is her thing. Mm -hmm. Linda. Nailed it, guys. This is Todd. Your date. Double date. Isn't this great? Uh, and then he deals face though. 